Namaste Farnow, and we're ready for another session of ways to read with your child. So we discussed about the title and talking about the illustrations and what it may mean and if it gives you a clue about what's happening in the book. So this story is about Tom. So as you can see, Mum and Tom are in the bathroom and she's obviously got her first aid kit out and she has cleaned and put a plaster on his knee. So that must be the problem. Something was wrong. I wonder what the solution is. Something is right. And in the front cover, you can see he's obviously fallen over and he's hurt himself because he's crying and he's left the shopping bag on the concrete path. So Tom went to the shop for his mum. You can see he's carrying his basket and he's looking around, but he's not really looking where he's going. So a motorbike whizzes by and with all that noise and clatter, he turns around and he's looking at the motorbike. But I can see a problem. Something else is about to happen. Can you see it? Uh-oh, he caught his toe on the edge of the path and now he's falling over. And obviously, when you get hurt, what do you do? You cry. There's no mummy. There's nobody there to help him. So he's rushed back home straight to his mum who's waiting for him. And here you are. They're both in the bathroom. Mum's pulled out her first aid kit and she's giving his sore knee a clean and putting on a plaster. He's been very brave. So now he's gone back to the shop. He is brave. He's gone back to the shop and he's shown the shopkeeper what happened. And he's seen another adult, probably with her children, and has shown them as well. Look at me. Tom is brave. And tomorrow, we will read the book. Kakite apopo. Keep well.